The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Good afternoon to Let's Talk Beauty. My name is Sharon, and our guest today is Rocco. The Rock is back to join me for uh, today's session. We're going to talk about some vitamins and probiotics and a couple other little goodies that we have. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Sharon. How are you doing? I'm good. How was your weekend? My weekend was filled with nothing but work since I got back from Orlando in the trade show, so I'm playing catch-up now, but I'm I'm almost back up to normal level at this point. How long were you there for? I was there for 10 days, five days for work, another four days for trying to get a little bit of sunshine, but unfortunately, it rained every day. Oh, no. That's too bad. Do you have a tissue? No. (laughs) Wah, wah, wah. I found other things to do. <laughs> we went to Madame Trousseau's um, Wax Museum. I went on what they call the Orlando Eye, which is this huge, like, Ferris wheel that uh, overlooks the city. It's about 400 feet high. I would never do that. I said I would never do it either. And mm. lo and behold, I found myself looking over the top going, yikes. Really? Yeah. It was good. It was a lot of fun. I would be scared. Yeah, well. No. So how was the trade show? What was that about? Trade show was the uh, uh, 2016 URSA trade show, which stands for International Health and Racket Sports Clubs Association. And once a year, they have a trade show with a lot of um, seminars and conventions where people can learn about fit and more, more for the business owners, the fitness owners that will come and they, they can see all the latest equipment, the latest software for managing their clients, uh, anything and everything related to health clubs. Right. Health clubs is what they do. It's, uh, you know, and then there's uh, all the exhibitors there, like myself, they would go and actually try to sell our products and our services to other people in the fitness industry. Is that something you do every year, these trade shows? or I manage to do at least one trade show a year. So, yes, you know, it, it's networking. It gets you, yeah. it gives you a chance to uh, meet other people in the industry, and there's always somebody new to me. Yeah, same thing that I do. I mean, I just recently went to a business building class for Aveda. It was very knowledgeable, and I enjoyed it very much. you got to keep going and learning and, you know, being involved with other business owners that are, you know, have fitness studios. Same with me, Aveda salons and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. One thing I can say about people in the fitness industry, they know how to drink. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't keep up with them at all. I, 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 I might have to, uh, you know, pull myself back from the fitness industry because I can't keep up with them. Well, maybe because they felt like they were kind of on vacation, but they were kind of working. Oh, yes. It, it's an outlet for all of us, really. You know, yeah. Because our industry is so tough. We spend a lot of time, you know, probably, you know, in the fitness industry, probably 65 hours a week is a normal week, work week for us. So when we get to finally get a chance to break away, all, all heck breaks loose and, you know, we want to have fun and just not think about the, the stresses we have in our daily activities at work. Right. Because, you know, you have to represent your, your practice, right? You know, well, if you're maybe away, they're going to kind of loosen up and have a little bit of good time. But, you know, you have to represent what, you, what you're what you telling everybody that you do. You're a fitness trainer. You get to eat good. E- yes, but I would, I, would, I would argue, though, from my perspective so far, looking at the fitness industry, that the fitness industry really needs a lot of help with the backside of it or the service side of it, understanding how to become fit. For so many years, the industry has uh, focused on sale of a membership right and if you didn't get personal training well then you left to your own devices and that number in attrition is very very high upwards of over 80 percent of people who join fitness clubs because they don't have the directions on what to do yeah i can they see fail, that they, they fail miserably yep. that's one of the focuses of our clubs is that everybody who joins our club has a plan the old adage that says if you fail the plan then you plan to fail take that very seriously so every customer that comes in should have a plan that says here's your gps or your directions on how to get fit right they're not feeling intimidated or overwhelmed or lost they they get through a program they know exactly what to do and you guys are always there available to you know if they have any questions and it's it's intimate it, it is in, in some of our locations and some it's a little bit larger but we still have kind of cordoned off the 
club so that the beginners are in one particular section, the intermediates in another section, and the advanced people in another oh, okay. section so that each person can feel comfortable in that environment and slowly migrate themselves to feel more and more comfortable towards the more experienced end of the club. Right. But it's all just a matter of nobody can know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, so many people have been so, I guess, disenfranchised by joining year after year, especially in January, where everybody says, yeah, this year I'm going to do it. And then they get there and it's the same old song and dance that if you can't afford to have a trainer for $40, $50, $60 an hour, then chances are you're not going to get any help at all. Well, our company is the company that provides that, that level of service at a price that people afford, can't afford personal training. For about a dollar a day, a person can have all the directions they need, exercise prescription and meal planning, and a follow-up every eight weeks that says, here's your report card, this is how well you're doing. And keeping okay. people on track and being accountable for being able to make that big type of progress. Yeah, and then they get excited. I get excited. I'm like, oh, what's my weight? Or, you know, what's my body fat? Where am I at? What do I need to do? So it's, it's definitely good. I've never experienced that in any other gym. So. And in our North Conway location, a week, basically we advertise to the deconditioned market, people who are overweight, that had diabetes, hypertension, uh, hyperlipids, or, you know, the cholesterols and triglycerides. And you would not believe the response. The people that we got that came into the club joined are doing well because they've had a plan. And when their updates come along, and I would, I would, um, would tell anybody to go to integritifit.com and click on our North Conway website, you will see, or even on Facebook, our Facebook site for North Conway, you will see uh, testimony after testimony of people that you would not think would be the typical gym goer talking about how happy they are with being able to have a plan that says, this is what I need to do. And I think that's where our success has been that I'm really proud of because I really wanted to be able to help people for a price that people could afford to pay because in the long scheme of things, if you take care of your health, and you don't have any health care costs, well, then your health care costs obviously become lessened. Mm -hmm. So, you know, who cares about a deductible if you don't get sick, right? Right. Who cares about a, a medics, medicine co-payment if you don't have to take anything? Mm -hmm. you know, and we're very proactive at being able to teach people how to not get into that trouble and also very effective at showing people how to be able to reduce those things, working with their physicians so that they can become free of a lot of these medications and a lot of the side effects that these medications are causing which is a win-win. Yeah. Speaking of testimonies, what have you seen? What, what has been your biggest um, client? Like, you know, like uh, her, what, what has been the biggest achievement from somebody that you have seen since you've been at Integrity? The, if you talk about weight loss, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, weight loss or what, whatever it may be. What, what do you I, think? I mean, it, there's a, you know, depending on the objective of the individual, we've seen in, help people lose up to 123 pounds. Mm -hmm. you know, I had a, um, a particular client, I won't mention any names, yeah. and it was 293 pounds that uh, ended up going down to 160. That's awesome. Um, but I've also seen people that have come in with uh, a full-blown type 2 diabetes and within less than six months watched their your diabetes basically fade away. Uh, diabetics know that there's a blood test called a hemoglobin A1C that anything over about a 5.7, I won't get into what that really is. Basically, it's how much sugar has been in your blood over the course of three months, to put it in layman's terms. But when that number is high, people have diabetes. And I've, I've seen so many of those people who have had high hemoglobin A1Cs actually drop those back down to normal within six months. And it's not that difficult to do. And this is a a condition that cost us thousands and thousands of dollars a year to treat that we is a fix. Right. But that must be so rewarding to see the transformations of, of these people and where they when they walk in to, to reaching their goals and to be living a healthier lifestyle. And It is, but it, it, the most effective way to do that, and even though the plans we have are very... Uh, I guess, very eff effective at being able to make those changes happen. Bigger challenge for most people, probably even including yourself, is to become more cognizant and more self-determined, being able to focus on things. Mm -hmm. You know, 
just like Why you mentioned. Why are you pointing names at me? Because you talked about it earlier <laughs> before we got before the camera started rolling and saying, you know, telling me about how many things you have to do. And I get it. And, and there's so many people out there, in, you know, <laughs> that have to work, you know, six, like a, a 65 <laughs> hours a week, you know, try to make ends meet and, and try to convince other people that, uh, you know, that taking care of their health is important. But uh, I, I do get it. But becoming self-determined and saying, okay, what are my priorities? Like mm-hmm. if, if tomorrow, well, l- let's take Steve Jobs, for instance, okay? Yeah. This guy uh, who discovered Apple, you know, made Apple the company that is huge company, right? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. I don't know he's dead. No. He's dead. Okay, so he died because his, he, had a, he had a liver issue, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, do you think that Steve Jobs would have spent every last penny he ever earned from Apple, and he had billions, right? Be alive today with his family? I would think so. So where would the priority really be? On his health? Yes. People, because they think that, uh, I see so many people work themselves to the bone, Mm. you know, because they're chasing the green. They're chasing the the American illusion that, you know, the more you have, the more happy you will be, which is completely untrue. Oh, I I do agree (laughs) with you there. Yeah. You know, my... (laughs) But they sacrifice their health along the way. Yeah. You see, the people don't get to be 65 or 67 years old today to be able to retire and are in great shape to live the rest of their life with quality. Mm-hmm. In most cases, they probably end up being deceased within a very short amount of time, which you know, is a very sad situation. You know, maybe Social Security doesn't mind because they don't have to pay that money out or that promised money to that particular individual. So I guess it works good for Social Security, but it doesn't work good for the thinking, working, uh-huh. individual or American citizen who's taken a lot of time and, and invested a lot of money in the Social Security system not be able to reap their benefits. Right. No, and I agree. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're pointing the figure at me, and that's fine. I'll, I'll cut you later. I really was, I wasn't pointing <laughs> no, no, no. the finger at you. It, no, it is, but it is so true. Like, I am very short-staffed at my salon, and I, it's a new business, so I'm growing my salon, so I have to put in so many hours, and it is a, an excuse. Like, I can definitely incorporate more. I am doing and I am trying, but it's, it's absolutely true. You need to put yourself first. Then the rest comes after that, because if I'm not healthy and feeling good and being able to get through my days 100%, what good is that going to do me at the end? Right. You it, know? It doesn't do you any good. I mean, mm-hmm. and the last thing that you really want to lose Besides your your life is your family, the people who you love. Right. Uh, nobody wants to die with a stack of money around their deathbed, right? They'd want the people that they love there. And right. People who understand that take care of themselves or put that priority first because it's never good. You, you're always too young to die. I don't mm-hmm. care. My, my stepdad is 97 years old, and he swears he's going to live until 100. Wow. And, you know, so if he dies at 98, he died too young because right. his goal was 100, right? Wow. So, and he's still young at heart. He does. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to. You know. Mm-hmm. Doesn't want to let go of this life. He loves what he does. He still plays golf. He still works out three times a week. Well, he's active. Yeah. He's doing great, and that's awesome. Yeah, and, and if you have a passion for living, then you should be able to live as long as you want. You shouldn't have to suffer because you're on eight, ten, twelve different medications, all of them which are shortening your lifespan and draining your pocketbook. Yeah, I agree, definitely. All right, let's get into. Um these daily vitamins. So I personally take one of these every day, Mm -hmm. um, doing whatever I can to stay healthy. At least I take my vitamins every day. So, um, we'll start with, um, down there and we'll work. Well, well, let's, let's first, let's define something first. Okay. Supplements are things that you take only when you can't get something from foods. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's clarify that definition. A supplement is something you take. Supplement. Like fish oil. I would take a fish oil if I don't eat fish, right? Okay, that's yeah, a good example. So people who don't like to eat fish but still want to get the, the benefits of the omega-3 fish mm-hmm. oils would, yes, they could supplement their nutrition with, with omega-3s. But you have somebody who may eat salmon three or four times a week. They may not need to have a, a fish oil supplement. Okay. Do you understand that? So. And again, when you take a look at what's happened to the food over the last 50 to 60 years, you'll find that it's very devoid of so many different nutrients that 
were there years and years ago. That mm -hmm. the reason why supplementation today is important is because you're not getting it from your foods. Right. Through the, the, the manufacturing and the processing and the shipping and the radiation, all these things they're doing with the foods, the genetically modified different types of things that are totally going on with the foods that are leaving a lot of people's physiology lacking a lot of the nutrients necessary mm -hmm. to have a healthy body. And then when that happens, when that doesn't happen, they don't get it, then they end up getting sick from something. And of course, if your doctor can't peg it on the first try, guess what? You take one medication, doesn't work, and then another one, and another one, and another one. And it's a slippery slope. And if you go down that slippery slope, you lose your health pretty damn quick. Mm -hmm. Well, when I um, went to your gym, I, you, you do recommend a certain few. Some of the basics, if yes. If you're weight training, if you're you know, going through the program. We also, look at, we also look at medical history of individuals to find out what conditions are ailing them at that time and then being able to suggest certain things that may be beneficial to getting them back to optimal health. So for today, I mean, because there's so many things we could talk yeah. about every single yeah. one of the supplements, I'd like to do the probiotic last because I think it's the most important. So, but if you want to go through these and talk a little bit about each one, yeah, I mean, I, we, I can probably do that for you. Well, we have about uh, ten minutes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, you would know more about it. Um, you know, so we get the pro probiotic. But you said you wanted. Well, to let's, let's do that one last. So let's go okay. for the first one here. So, this first one is uh, CLA. It basically stands for conjugated linoleic acid. Don't ask me how I remember that, but I do. And conjugated linoleic acid is actually what's called a medium chain triglyceride. Mm -hmm. It's great for helping the body's fat burning mechanisms help you burn fat a little bit faster. So anybody who's on a weight loss program would probably be interested in CLA because the CLA helps with people who are trying to lose body fat a little bit quicker. Okay. Okay. Without getting into all the science of that, this is what this Good. does. Yep. Okay. Yep. Next we have here omega-3s. Now omega-3s actually is a fantastic supplement, if, especially if you're not an oily fish eater. Uh, omega-3s are something that, well, uh, here, here's a, an important uh, note for you. You know that your brain is made of two-thirds of omega-3 fatty acid? I think you did mention that. Yeah, so in actuality, in actu actuality all of us are fatheads in a good way. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Omega-3s are also one of the best anti-inflammatories out there. So people who are suffering from any type of itis, it's like itis just means that things are inflamed, would do well with omega-3s because they help lower inflammation. If people out there have don't like the taste of fish, they also make these in what's called enteric coated so that they actually break open further down in your digestive system and you won't get that fishy taste. You can, can you also do this as krill oil. Yes, go ahead. Recommend how many of these a day you should take? Um, like one a day for uh, I'm not going to get into dosages because it's going to take a long time. Okay. So if people want to know, they can always come or call us at integritifit.com okay. or call us on our 800 number at 855-550-2348, which stands for BFIT. Um, not BFIT, BFIT. Um, so the omega-3s are great for people who have diabetes. It help the lining of every single cell in your body is actually what's called a, fat, a phospholipid bilayer. Omega-3s help to keep that permeable and keep your cell structure very healthy, okay? Well, there's a million things I can tell you about this yeah. to make you think better, all kinds of stuff. But for today's uh, show, I'm going to give you the limited definition of some of these things. Calcium and magnesium are two great minerals um, that mostly women should actually use especially when they start getting into their uh, pre-menopausal years because as they start losing bone density, calcium and magnesium are one of the great minerals that keep your bones uh, good and strong along with, of course, your resistance training, which is one of the best exercises for uh, osteopenia and osteoporosis, but also uh, making sure that your hormones are balanced, especially making sure that your body has enough progesterone, and that's a test that can be done easily through um, taking a saliva test with any any locations we can do that for you. So uh, calcium and magnesium, great for bones, great for strong teeth. Uh, magnesium is a, a great uh, muscle relaxer. So people who just want to help them with their sleep at night could just take magnesium by itself and it'll actually relax them really? just before they go to bed. Yes. So anybody having trouble sleeping out there, you might want to look at magnesium. Oh. Chromate is actually what's called, a, it's a mineral, a trace mineral called chromium. Uh, chromium is... It's more essential for people who have 
or are beginning to get prediabetes. What we found out is because insulin is actually made partially from this particular trace mineral, people who don't make enough insulin do quite well with chromium. It also, this also acts as a great appetite suppressant. So people who have the hunger pangs, if they're on a, uh, you know, on a restricted meal plan, mm -hmm. taking some chromium will help them to, uh, to deal with that hunger in between meals. Okay. Great. Okay, now what do we have here? We have the pancake mix. Pancakes. Oh, I had some of these this morning, actually. So <laughs> It's actually pretty good. These are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, you can get creative with this pancake mix. You just mix it with water. You can throw yeah. blueberries, raspberries, anything you want into this. And that even, you know, in my case, sometimes chocolate chips. Oh. You know, you know semi-sweet, you know, dark chocolate chips. You know, there's, there's actually still good for you. Yeah. Um, each serving gives you, I think, what is it, is it about 12? The 12 grams of protein in it? Uh, I can't read that without my glasses, and I'm sure yeah. that you can either. No, you're right. Uh, yep. Yeah, 12, 12 grams. Yeah, 12 grams of um, protein in a serving. So people who have allergies to eggs, like myself, I used to eat a dozen eggs a day, and I found out I had an allergy to eggs just recently. So wow. um, I, had to cut, I had to cut out the eggs. Now I'm actually a pancake man. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anybody. No, it's great. People can treat themselves. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like you yes. Think I mean, breakfast is delicious. And we, they make a syrup that goes along with this. It's actually sweetened with stevia. So it really literally has, I think, five calories in a serving. Do you have that at your? Yes, we do. All right. At Integrity yeah. Fitness. So um, if you'd rather switch from eating donuts to protein pancakes, which would be great for your health, please do. You'll help yourself in the long run. Okay. What do we got next? True Balance, this is just a, a multivitamin, one of the multivitamins that we carry. Because, as I mentioned earlier in the show, that most of the food today is devoid of so many of the nutrients. I call multivitamins kind of a blanket insurance policy for anybody who just wants to make sure that they're getting at least some of all the nutrients that are necessary to have, maintain a good, healthy body. Okay? Biotin. Biotin, biotin. is... Um, something that you should be explaining, and you know the reason why you should explain that because particular supplement? Because it's great for your hair and nails. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Yeah. So I actually take two of these a day. Um, I take the extra strength, um, along with what I said, I take one of these every day. Um, yeah, this is really, really good for your hair and nails. Yes, yeah, so if you have brittle nails or you have, you know, your cuticles are starting to crack and break up, uh, biotin would be a great supplement for that. It's not healing my uh, glue gun wounds for my dresses that I'm making for my fashion show. It probably won't show. heal a bullet wound either. <laughs> uh, alpha lipoic acid, or ALA as we call it, one of the most, my most favorite supplements on the planet, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because it's an, it's an antioxidant. And an antioxidant, just really that means is if you Google maybe free radicals or what damages people as they get, you know, if they're in environments, so it's like smokers have a lot of um, free radicals in their body. People eat a lot of trans fats, the fried chickens and the French fries and anything that's fried. Like that. Anybody who's exposed to things that create these sometimes cancer-causing molecules in the body Alpha lipoic acid actually takes them and binds them up so they, it renders them harmless. And the reason why I love alpha lipoic acid so much is because our bodies have what's called a fat environment and have a water environment. Some vitamins or some antioxidants are water soluble, some are fat soluble. Alpha lipoic acid is fat and water soluble, so therefore it works in both environments and gives you double bang for your buck. Hmm. So if you want to be younger, feel younger, and reduce some of the stress on your body, Alpha lipoic acid would be one of my top choices. Okay. Okay. Glad I have that. Okay. On my shelf. Silly marin, or otherwise known as milk thistle, is an herb that is great for detoxifying the liver. Um, people who are trying to lose weight or have been on a lot of medications or even people who drink a lot of alcohol mm -hmm. would do great with this because it detoxifies the liver, helps to ward off cirrhosis, which is a scarring and fatty deposits in the liver. Mm -hmm. It helps the body to become a fat-burning body again versus being a fat-storing body. So a healthy liver means a healthy person. Okay. So this is great for cleansing the liver. Good. And uh, last but not least, how many more minutes do we have? So I'll, I'll be able to... Three. I have three minutes. Less, okay, so things called probiotics. I'm sure that you've probably heard about probiotics being in yogurt. And if you think that you eat enough yogurt to get the probiotics you need, I have a bridge that I want to sell you guys. And again, my number is 855-550-2348. I have this beautiful bridge. It's only a million dollars, and I will finance it for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> probiotics 
are what's called a healthy bacteria that's inside of your gut, okay? Most people who are eating what's called the standard American diet, or SAD, if you will, uh, have so many microorganisms that are in there that are, are, are bad. They're the bad bacteria. They're, they're wreaking toxic and havoc in your body. Um, when you replace that bad bacteria with this good bacteria, what this does is actually goes in and it creates an environment the way your, your intestine is supposed to be like. The biggest part about this is it fixes your immune system. People who get sick too easily, typically if you take a look at their gut, that's where the problem is coming from. It could be bacteria and they're called uh, helical bacter pylori, H. pylori. There's, there's a lot of that that's rampant throughout most people in the United States. They don't even know that they have it. It's making them deathly sick and ill. Um, lots of anti people who are on antibiotic regimens who have been, you know, whether they, your doctor gave them for, you know, some kind of a bacterial infection or one of the other things. Anybody who's been on a regimen of, of, pro of antibiotics need to get on a probiotic regimen immediately following that antibiotic regimen because if they don't, they're going to find themselves getting sicker and sicker and they won't know why. If you want to know more about the probiotics, you can also give us a call because you can't just take this willy-nilly. They come in different strengths and different strains, and if you take too much too fast, it will make you sick. So you have to know how to do this. You have to be able to start off at a very low dosage and work your way up so that when you finally get that good bacteria back in your system the way that it's supposed to be, you're going to feel great. Your whole system's going to work at your digestive people who think they have all kinds of allergies to different types of foods. I bet you half of those allergies would go away because really it's just an imbalance of not having enough probiotics or good bacteria in their, in their gut, which we call flora. would do quite well. All the enzymes that are necessary for breaking down foods would be able to work correctly again. How come that's the only one I don't have on my counter? Because, you, have because you've taken all these already. <laughs> <laughs> What's one more? <laughs> no, and you should. But, you know, learning about probiotics and how important they are for even staving off, like, yeast mm -hmm. infections, big, big, big things. So for me, if there's only one thing I could take for starters, it would be this. Okay. Then I would follow my supplement routine out with some of, you know, a basic multivitamin and probably alpha lipoic acid after that. that would probably be my choices okay. in order. Right. And then, of course, you know, when I look at the, anti the inflammation deal that you get with the uh, omega-3, which is a big deal. Am I deal. okay with what I'm doing? Oh, you're more than okay. You're, you're fine. Okay. But, you know, it's, it's like learning. Don't, don't just take something because I told you either. I mean, there's a plethora of resources out there that people can use to be able to find out, you know, make an informed decision on anything okay. you take. Don't just because I consider myself an expert doesn't necessarily mean what I'm saying is going to work for you. Right. I always, I always recommend people do their homework and make an informed choice because at the end of the day, you have to be responsible for you. Absolutely. Well, that's going to end it for today. Um, lots of good stuff here today. If you want to know more information, you can contact Integrity Fitness. And thank you, Rocco, once again for coming on the show. Thanks for having me too, Sharon. Thank Sharon, you. it's been a pleasure. It really has. <laughs>